just arrived in Rayleigh Beach in Krabi, Southern Thailand. This is seriously one of the most beautiful places in the entire world. We're gonna go explore Rayleigh and we'll take you along with us. Let's go. So right now we're in West Rayleigh. This is probably where you'll arrive by long tail boat if you're coming from Ao Net, which is one of the main piers here in Krabi. It's a really beautiful place here. You can see the most incredible cliffs from the moment you get off your boat. This is also one of the main parts of Rayleigh Beach. It's where you'll find a lot of the restaurants and there are so many hotels down here as well. The water's warm all year round here. We're actually in the middle of monsoon season, but you guessed it, the water's still really nice, refreshing and super warm. You can even get speedboat tours and get picked up from right here on the beach. We did the same thing yesterday and got picked up by a long tail boat. It was a little bit rough, but it just made the adventure a little bit more exciting. Down the far end of the beach, right next to the Ayavati Hotel, is where you'll normally find a lot of long tail boats parked up. This is where you can come and talk to a driver to arrange your next boat trip. Or you can just come down here and get a really great photo. This is a really popular swimming spot and people love kayaking and paddle boarding here too. And fair enough, it's really so beautiful here. There's a kayaking rental shop just over here and they even rent stand-up paddle boards that have transparent bottoms. It's so cool, we keep seeing them going out at night and you can literally see through the bottom of the paddle board. There are so many different rock climbing tours available here. I can't see them right now, but before we've seen people climbing up that huge cliff just behind me. It also links up to the main street of Rayleigh Beach. We're gonna wander down there now so we can show you that next. This is the main street here at Rayleigh Beach. This is where you're going to find all of the restaurants, the bars, and the convenience stores. Basically, if you need anything while you're staying at Rayleigh Beach, this is where you need to come. If you're looking for souvenirs, you can find them right here on the street too. And don't worry if you forgot a swimsuit, there are lots of swimsuits for sale all down the street. There are delicious smoothie shops all over Rayleigh Beach. I've become really obsessed with the banana shakes and this one only cost 50 baht, which is one US dollar 30. It's so good. This is one of the big convenience stores here. You can literally buy everything right here. And on the main street is where you'll find ATMs, just in case you need to get some cash out. It's really easy to find nice food all down this road and it's especially easy to find really good pizza or Thai food. There are so many delicious places to choose from. The main road is where you can come if you want to book a tour. There's lots of different tour groups all the way down the entire road. You can even book a massage at any one of these amazing massage shops. They cost as little as 200 baht. Rayleigh Beach is a rock climbing heaven. There are lots of different rock climbing shops all the way down the main road so you can pick up your rock climbing gear and go enjoy a nice climb. We've just reached the end of the main road and that took about five minutes. If we keep going straight, we'll make it to East Rayleigh and if we turn left, we'll make it to the Diamond Caves. This is where you go to get to the Diamond Cave. Right behind me is the Diamond Cave. This is something you absolutely need to do when you're visiting Rayleigh Beach. The entrance fee to get into this cave is 80 baht, which is about $2.10 US. So we've come during monsoon season and it looks like the whole track to get there is completely flooded out. Good thing is it's still really beautiful here and we can just stand and have a look and really appreciate the beautiful caves. Now we're going to go this way to get to East Rayleigh. There are a few more bars and shops down this road and you sometimes see monkeys down here as well. This is Rayleigh East. It's where you'll find the main pier and there's also lots of different hotels and restaurants all down the street. The tide is really, really low right now and there's quite a lot of stones out here. You'd have to go really far out to get nice deep water. That's why people aren't swimming here. It's just not a beach for swimming. This is the last main stop here on Rayleigh East and it's called The Last Bar. Perfect name. There are quite a lot of hilltop restaurants and hotels around here too. The East Rayleigh Pier is just over there, so it's really easy to book a tour anywhere down this road. There are lots of hotels here in East Rayleigh, and there are restaurants literally the entire way down the road. You have so many choices of things to eat, but I really recommend the pizza and the Thai food here. You can find lots of different laundry service shops here as well. You just drop off your washing and you can collect it the same day. It's really helpful when you're traveling. This is the East Rayleigh Pier. It's where you'll probably come if you're doing an airport transfer or coming from Ao Namo Pier. There are usually lots of long tail boats parked all the way down this pier. So it's a really good place to come and book in your long tail boat tour. 
Some of the hotels on this side of Rayleigh even pick you up from your boat using a tractor. What a cool way to arrive at a hotel. This is the other end of East Rayleigh. Once we get to the end, we're gonna turn right and we're gonna take you to the most beautiful beach in the entire world. So once you're at the shop, you just need to turn right to get to the viewpoint, the lagoon, Pranang Cave and Pranang Beach. Let's go. The beach we're going to is absolutely amazing, but so is the walk to get there. We're literally walking right alongside the cliffs and there are so many beautiful caves all around us. So this is probably my favorite beach in the entire world. It's just so beautiful here. We have the amazing cliffs towering over us either side and I love seeing the islands out in the distance. It's seriously just so stunning here. There's one five-star hotel here on this beach, and it also has an incredible restaurant. It's literally in a cave. So you sit there, you eat your food, and you just look out through a cave at the most incredible views of the islands. The cliffs here are really beautiful, and sometimes you even see rock climbers climbing up them too. And this huge cliff is called the Back Cave. You can even get a tour that takes you inside it and all the way up to the top to look over the bay. On the other side of the Bat Cave is Rayleigh West, which is actually where we started this Rayleigh Beach tour. When you come to Rayleigh, you need to make sure that you check out this really unique cave. It's just down there called Pranam Cave. It's a really spiritual place and it's where people come and pray for fertility. You just need to see it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed exploring Rayleigh Beach with me and I hope you get to come check it out for yourself soon. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.